2015. I first came here from Barbados and I just love Venice. It just reminded me of Barbados. If you come here and you want to go dance on the street, you can go dance on the street. If you want to go make some art and set it up, you can. We used to go skating, Rita Del Rey Skate Park, and you know, I got to watch all the best guys skate. You know, it's a special place. Dreams come true here. If you want to do it, you can do it. It eventually just led to all art for me. I dropped out of high school, got into my studio and started working. That way he, you know, he's an artist, bohemian, with a lot of crazy ideas. He's like the, he's like the real thing here in Venice, you know. He goes all over the place. He goes from painting canvases to doing a lot of clay work, a lot of, a lot of pottery work, a lot of tile work. I could see a whole city done by him, you know what I mean? I done the artwork in front of the police station on the boardwalk. I did the 25 foot sculpture down there on the boardwalk, which is five and a half tons of clay made out of pottery wheel. The seating area around it for the kids, and then the mosaics that run the whole way down the boardwalk. So I made each tile myself by hand and just put them together. It was a dream come true. And you know, the homeless guy who slept there for the last 25 years, he watched me build it. He still is, I'm watching it, man, I got it, I got it, you know? And when I first came here, it was more of a, a craft time for Venice because the art walk had just started. There was a boom in Los Angeles in itself at that time. Oh man, it was it was alive, man. I saw a lot of the art like out in the boardwalk. There was a bunch of artists. They, they really t took their art seriously. A lot of performers. But you'd be seeing people create and drawing and painting and just being creative. There was a lot of designers. You know, there was a lot of things happening. So a lot of Venice artists were getting work, and we were doing a lot of stuff for all the hotels that were booming around town and, and abroad. Money's been put into Venice. I'd say mid to late 90s, that's when everything just started developing. Everybody started wanting to move here and change it, and it became like artsy fartsy. You know, yoga and juice bars. They got more art lofts around here that are giant. With somebody sitting at a computer, there's no physical, tangible, you know, like things that, that you work with your hands. It's getting less and less and less. They think making art's just a simple thing, you know. When you make an art on a scale, it's, it's blood, sweat, and tears, you know. I've been here 30 plus years at my studio. Since I was 18 years old, it's my way of life. Every morning I get up and I run to the studio because this space gave me the environment, the scale to work on a larger scale in clay and do all these different things and, and paint and dream, you know. And, um, I got an eviction notice about a week ago, and it's, it still hasn't sunk in. We, they've given us six months, and um, I, I actually envisioned dying here. You know what I mean? It was like I, I went that far, and I, I didn't expect it. It just hit me like Mike Tyson in the early morning, you know, like. I sort of want to laugh. I sort of want to cry. You know what I mean? I just want to curl up in a ball. But then at the same time, I think if there's six months, there's 24 hours in a day, I, could, I can get a lot of work done before I have to leave here. <laughs> I see that Venice is much more than um, just Venice now, you know? I mean, I got to look at it like Jay Adams, you know, who just passed. I remember skating with him. and Just like how Dogtown Boys took skateboarding to the world, I think we in Venice as artists has affected the world also. And Venice is everywhere, you know? Venice is in your heart. It's not gone, man. Venice is here. Just come visit it. It's inside your soul. Remember, Venice.